introduced him to it. Label prepared products in accordance with facility standards, making sure not to hide name, expiry date, or graduations. Place your initials on the label and have it initialed by the person who checked the preparation. Place syringes ready for administration and the solution bags in sealed bags before dispensing. Note that all information concerning the preparation, labeling, storage and dispensing of sterile preparations must be recorded and kept for future reference. The names of all those involved in the preparation must be entered in the control log. In addition to the information recorded, a copy of the worksheet and a sample of the identification label should be used for control of each batch or preparation. Any particles or precipitate in the solution should be detected during the inspection and final check of the preparation, but microbial contamination cannot be detected. It is thus advisable to throw out any potentially contaminated solution or to filter it through a 0.22 micron filter if possible. Let's see how to filter a potentially contaminated solution. Hold the plastic dome containing the filter and grasp the disc firmly in the hollow between your thumb and index finger so that you can still use your thumb and finger for the manipulations. Open the wrapping, taking care not to disrupt the laminar airflow over the filter. Pull back the plunger of the syringe to empty the needle and then remove the needle. Attach the syringe to the filter. Take the filter out of its wrapping. Make sure that the unwrapped filter is exposed to the laminar airflow. Attach a new needle to the filter, keeping the assembly at a 70 degree angle. With the syringe in a vertical position, pull first on the plunger and then expel the air from the syringe. Wet the filter with the solution. Check the volume and have the product checked according to facility protocol before filtering. Remove the needle guard. Filter the solution by injecting it into the appropriate reservoir. Put the needle guard back on. Check the integrity of the filter by trying to draw air into the syringe and rapidly releasing the plunger. The filter is intact if a spring effect is felt. Make sure that the finished product meets required quality standards. We suggest that you read the guide that comes with this video to complete your training. The guide has additional information and many explanations. It is an essential tool for understanding and mastering the procedures this video illustrates. We hope these recommendations will be helpful to you in your work. Thank you for your attention.